Hi, George. I know, right? We rushed on the train to uh, meet you because we arrived in Rival at the same time you left. Good to see you, George. Oh, yeah, good to see you. So we just missed Thank you. you. Well, I'm glad you came out. There's hardly anybody around. <laughs> hey, we're going to Sunpark, Plaza. Yeah, that's yeah. what Plaza what, what, uh, is yeah. 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 We arrived at the same time as you did. Yeah, we arrived the same time as you did, and like when we were getting out of the car, you just took off. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's right. And then I rushed on the train so I could come to meet you. Yeah, I think I was already a minute late. How is this bus? Uh, the bus? Yeah. Taken me on that one. Yeah. Taken me. Right. You want to know what's on Max Kill today? What? They normally put single buses on that route, but there's an accordion on there today. Oddly wow. enough. Oddly enough, I don't know why. Well, yeah, it's very quiet out there. Maybe for a different route, right? Maybe. Switch it up. And 7957 is on there. You driven that one? Uh, yes, I have. George, you want to know something? Uh, sure. I woke up with a bit of a hangover this morning. Uh -oh. the, too many, a, a few too many brewskis. What were you drinking? Corona with lemon in it. Is that beer? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not the. It's not that you know what. <laughs> well, when you say too many, how many is too many? I I only had three, but I haven't drank for a long time. When yeah, I would three? drink, no three. Oh, three. oh okay. <laughs> thirty, I would be screwed. <laughs> 
So how do you like the half an hour change up? How's it been treating you? Well, I had to get out half an hour earlier, but I'm going to get home half an hour earlier. Uh, it's okay. Is Cliff coming down next week? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not sure. We may go over on Christmas Day, we're still not sure. But, uh, things are kind of still up in the air. Oh, thank you so much! Thank you! Yeah, because doesn't he normally come down at the end of the month? How was your weekend anyway? Oh, it was great. I did have to take out the garbage and the recycling, but other than that, it was good. Oh, and take the laundry downstairs. So, so, the other guy on the other route is it Jerry, right? In the afternoon it is, yes. Oh, he doesn't start yet. Or, or well, does he start, start when you... You start, yes. Yeah. You start half an hour before him, right? Yes? That's right. So we're going to get quite the snowstorm, eh? Oh, uh, that's why I'm getting out early while I can. Did you hear how much bounce you're supposed to get? F 50? Yeah, that's right. 50 centimeters. That's just under two feet. Or... Are you serious? Yeah. That's a lot of snow. Or 50, yeah. or 50 feet, George. <laughs> ah! 50 centimeters. But ah, they're supposed to get that within, what, 20 minutes? No! Just, no! <laughs> no. 20 minutes, 50 centimeters. Well, these are going to be phased out starting next year. That's what I heard. Well, uh, you heard what? They might start phasing these out eventually, one by one. Oh, okay, yeah. But if they're still running good, right? Yeah. I don't see why not. Right. They might have to get extra life out of them, too. Yeah, that's right. I notice it's just a slightly by a tad. It's just ever so slightly slow on takeoff. Yeah, just slightly. But today is okay, like this week, next week. Yeah, I was like, I was like, damn it. I was arriving right at Somerset and you were pulling out. So yeah. I had to take the train one stop so That's I could it. catch you. Yeah. I think Calgary's supposed to get 10 to 20 centimeters overnight. It could. It's supposed to start this afternoon though. It could be more though, depending if the wind picks up. Yeah, that's right. Have fun in the snow tomorrow. Well, that's unfortunate we're getting the storm because now tonight we won't be able to see Jupiter and uh, Saturn. Aww. Oh, that's unfortunate. You'll see me tomorrow though. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. I I go I go over back I I I go over backwards to see you. Yeah, that's it. Good football games this weekend. Yes, that's it. Well I'm glad there's one. Now they gotta be the coming Guess who won again? Brady. He came all he came all the way back down. Okay. Yes, that's right. Who did the Bears play this weekend? Vikings. No, they played Minnesota. Yeah. They just beat them. Yeah. So this coming weekend. I forgot now. So you're still waiting for Quiff on the bottles, eh? Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Somebody just gave me one. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Because I got one this morning, so I got two. And boy, I'll tell you, when my daughter gives me those bottles, it's going to be interesting. We should be able to get 40-some dollars. 
We're riding with you all the way back to Bribal West. For about six o'clock tonight? No. Oh, not that long. No. Where are you going after Bridalwood? I'm gonna try to catch 7957. It's on the max still today. Yeah. But I figured I'd ride with you for an hour, right? right. So, yeah. Thanks for another ride. Yeah, no, you're very welcome. Next. Four days till Christmas. Yes, that's right. So next you where does that where will you go on that one? Du uh, either Douglas Glen or Westbrook, whatever yeah. Oh, Douglas okay. Glen, yeah. Right. You've been to Douglas Glen a bunch of times. Oh yeah, over and over. Years ago. Probably a lot of MCIs went through there. Yes, that's right. There used to be a 409 Douglas Glen, if I recall, right? That's right. Or Douglas still? Yeah. Went to... That route's long gone now. 409? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why do they retire some roots, I wonder? Uh, I really don't know. You'd have to ask because maybe I'll schedule, but I'm not sure who designs that or does that. I don't know why they would do that. It seemed to me like everything was fine with the roots the way they were. But I mean, to put more roots in, sometimes they got to change, right? And extend them. They did have to extend them. That's well, probably why. Well, you would have thought they could have kept the number the same. Yeah. Like, 37 used to be Northeast Loop. Right. Well, at one time, the 37 used to be uh, Silver Springs. Yeah, then Northeast Loop. Now yeah. it's Canyon Meadows. Good bus otherwise? Yes, very nice. I took a cool cushion home with me Friday night and I brought it back today and it's just what I needed. You but have to get up a little earlier now. I do. Yes. Yeah, poor me, George. I did not sleep very well. Oh, okay. I had a bad stomach at 4 o'clock in the morning. Whoa. I hope you don't do that over Christmas then. No. I don't go near alcohol. At all. Just like Yeah, but I mean, I um, was feeling good, but I, fe I ate late too, right? Yeah. But I mean, when I drink, it makes me hungry. Oh, okay. I had some chips, eh? That was something to do with it. Poker chips? Uh, Doritos. Oh, potato chips. Oh, not poker chips. No. Okay, I didn't want you eating those. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> if you start eating poker chips, the other poker players will be upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty busy. Oh, I can't believe it. Walmart? Yeah. And Coa. I thought it was only 15%. That does not look like 15% in those parking lots, according to all the vehicles. In that Chinook, it's the same thing. Oh, wow. But I mean, a lot of people go to Chinook this time of year. Well, yeah, but you're only supposed to have 15%. Yeah. 
But how would you combat that with Christmas? So it's kind of like you're trying to do that, but it's not working. Well, if the fine isn't that big, like let's say it's only a five or ten thousand dollar fine, it's better to take in all the people and get tons of money, and the fine doesn't mean anything. Nice transmission on this one. Yeah, very nice actually, yes. I I can ever feel it ever so slightly, but not much at all. No, that's right. I'm very happy with this bus. How old are you now? I wonder. Just to, because, like, when you're in your seventies, these will be gone. Oh, uh, they will. Yeah. You must have been pretty young when you started. I was 25. Oh yeah. And you're 65 now, is that how it works? Um, I'm 64 and a half. Oh yeah, that's about right. Yeah. No one barely at the bus stops today. It's weird. No, no, no. It's really quiet. I was gonna ask you, what was the most frightening breakdown you had on one of your buses? What's one of the what? Most frightening breakdown you had. Uh, where it was... I don't think I've ever had one that was, you could use the word frightening. Or just a little gut feeling or whatever? Uh, well, when you say gut feeling, I find my head that flat tire. I left downtown at the bay to go up to Mount Royal. And uh, I called them and said the steering didn't feel right. And I made it all the way out when I pulled back into the bay an hour later. I guess it was an hour later, yeah. The front, the whole front of the bus went right down. <laughs> had a flat tire on the front of the box. Only ever happened once. And I had a senior who tried to get on. At that time it was a Jimmy, so you had a railing. And she had both hands on the railing. She was trying to pull herself up. And uh, she asked me what was wrong. And I said, well, here, if you look at the front, front wheel of the bus there, <laughs> That shocked me that they have an accordion on Max Till today. They never have accordions on the Max line unless the university is in. It goes up to Mount Royal University as well. University, right? But I'm just saying, you know, the only reason why you would put an accordion on as if it was really busy, right? Yeah, but they know it's not. Yeah. There is nobody at university right now. But maybe that was the only one left, day. Eh? All the other buses were being used. Well, and not, they all, won't. not all the, not all these kinds of buses. Yeah. They have so many of them. Yeah. And, and they don't. How would you say, um, it's not like rush hour, we don't have all the buses out right now. Yeah. And even during, you're welcome. Even during rush hour, it's still quieter. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Imagine if you had three standing loads per day. I'm using that for an example for like an hour. Then they would have to give you an articulated bus. Uh, well, if you had a standing load for one hour at a time, three times a day. Well, not just, not if it's just a standing load because
it. But say if it was for an hour of that, so they would have to give you one. Yeah, but I'm saying, see if the route was even longer and you kept getting lots of people, then they would have to, right? Right. Like on the 14, right? Yeah, that's it. I bet you 14s, they gotta leave a big bus on on Christmas Day. Did you know that? On the 14? Oh, yeah, that's right. Really, eh? Yeah, yeah. Route 1, Route 3, uh, 14. Route 14, and then there's uh, what used to be, I think the Route 20 and the 7, what used to be a 20, I think the 20 is still there, and then the 7, what used to be the 72, 73. Only buses that go across the city. You might get a different guy taking you home tonight, eh? Uh, yeah, that's possible. Oh, 11 just left, eh? Perfect time, and you yeah, just... Yeah, well, that's what I try to do. Come in just so he leaves, and then the train is here, and everything looks... Holy jeez, you're not kidding. You're not kidding, George. No, no, not at all. 